Hi guys, today's June 23rd, 2017. I come on here to talk about some things that's going on. Um, not only in the Jerusalem Post, but um, of other things. I just got off the phone with uh, Sister Darla and I had um, uh, Princess Carly also send me um, a video and lots of other people that's been, you know, confirming a lot of stuff. Um, I want to tell you an update. Um, I, on my concussion, I believe I still have it. Um, I just fell down my flight of stairs outside. So I've been in a lot of pain and I told Satan, I rebuke you. I'm done because I can't deal with any more. Um, but I have good news because I am counting all these tribulations that we go through joy because if we weren't doing the work of the Lord, Satan wouldn't be attacking us so much. Um, so now I'm going to get to, um, I decided I was going to fall asleep because I've been having migraines, blurred vision, nausea, and nothing is taking these headaches away. Okay. And I do not have medical insurance, so I can't just up and go to the doctor and I'm, I'm not going to pay a hundred dollars just for them to send me for medical testing that I have to pay $1,500 for. Um, so I decided, nope, God's got me. I'm fine. Um, so I fell asleep. And I dreamt, I'm going to read to you what I dreamt. It's short, to the point. I was sitting at an ovalish type kind of round table. And it was in dim, dim lighting. And there was my dad that was, uh, he had his Bible open. And many of us was sitting at this table, right? And we was discussing something. I don't know, he was preaching or something. Then all of a sudden, my brother-in-law was sitting at the other table. He had a white shirt on. And um, he... Um, put out his arms like this and he, sa he said I plead the blood of Jesus I plead the blood everyone stopped listening to my dad and you know the conversation and started paying attention to him and I said you guys are deceived he's deceiving you don't listen to him and then I woke up I was like whoa that is you know what's about to happen on Tuesday at this summit this this meeting this brain meeting whatever it's called um, because many people are saying that this has been pushed until September. No, it has not. They're heart and solely wanting to get this done. Um, it's not going to be obviously signed by the Antichrist until we leave. Uh, so whatever deal type deal they're making, um, it is definitely economical. Um, it deals with, you know, uh, money and other things being involved, um, about trying they said two state solutions and stuff so I have three different articles here I'm just gonna read you bits and pieces of each um, but before I do I wanted to tell you that the name Curtis means court it also means courteous polite and well-bred we know that the Antichrist is well-bred courteous and polite he woos people and deceives them okay and um, the deception is very very strong so All right, got to get all this together. Going to first read to you 2 Timothy. Four. Two, four. All right. And like I said, we are being tempted. We are being tried. And... We are being abused. Now, abused, you know, we are being verbally abused by the people. We are being attacked by Satan. He's the one. Okay, it's just like Job, all right? Job had everything taken away from him, but he still loved God, and God blessed him abundantly, okay? And he promises to continue to do so. So, 2 Timothy 4 uh, I'm going to read 2 through 7, I say. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Okay, in season, which is, you know, the season of Christ coming and out of season when all these signs were not even happening to show us how close we were to the end, like back in the 1800s and things. All right. And then it says convince, rebuke. Okay, because we absolutely have to rebuke the enemy. Exhort with all long suffering and teaching. 
for the time will come will they when they will not endure sound doctrine but according to their own desires because they have itching ears they will heap up for themselves teachers which is exactly what they are doing that's why they're going to run to the antichrist because he is going to to the hush come on and my itchy man a host come on any me a cheeky be asking me and now must you give me a cheeky me a lot of his equal boys he back and then boy it's kahana much a key man in your magic key boss you would it's a kahana and it's good to come come here to keep on your more just a husk come on in a chicken menina and and so come on in a has to come on there what he's saying is do not listen to these preachers because they they are preaching the wrong message to these people. I'm sorry. I've got the Holy Spirit. People are just not listening anymore. They don't care what you tell them. And destruction is coming upon them. Because they choose to listen to their own desires. You know, our hearts can be deceived. That is why we do not listen to them. We listen to what God shows us through the Holy Spirit, the Word of God. Okay, and, and they are turning away. And it says, and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables, to false preachers, to false people, the Antichrist. He will woo him. They will come, he will come in and he will tell them what they want to hear. He will act like he is God. And it says, but you be watchful in all things, okay? In other words, all these signs and things that's happening, we need to be watching, okay? Because he's given us every little hint. And that's why we have such a strong connection into the Holy Spirit, into Christ. Why we feel him coming, why he's showing us these things, okay? Endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. For I am ready, all... For I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not to me only, but also to all who has loved his appearing you understand who are watching and waiting we get a crown of righteousness for watching and waiting for his return okay and this okay um this is a reward that we get it, the crown that is our 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 gift from him that we can lay upon his feet okay now i'm going to read to you james who oh. I, I wish people would wake up and realize how close we are. I have been trying my hardest to preach to people. James 1.12, it says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation. Boy, haven't we been tried and tempted to do wrong things. Oh, yeah, to cuss, you know, to put others down, to judge people, to go back to our own old, old ways, to be angry. Sorry, bug just flew in here. Um, to, to, um... You know, to do wrong, to give in to this earthly sins. For when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. When we have been taken out of here and brought upon his feet and we have had our, you know, our judgment with God or our because everybody's going to be judged, whether it's for the good that they have done for him, for those who love him, or whether it is a depart from me, you're going to hell type thing. You know, being judged for your sins. Um, and then Luke 21. Matthew, Matthew. Okay. Oops, Matthew read you these few scriptures and then I'm going to get into this other part. Luke 21 16 through 19 it says you will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relatives and friends and they will put some of you to death. Okay? And you will be hated by all for my name's sake but not a hair of your head shall be lost by your patience 
possesses your soul. You understand that by us watching and waiting and having patience for his appearing. That saves our soul because we are being raptured. And he promises that nothing, no harm will come to us. Yes, we're going to have temptations and trials, but we will not lose our soul because we are the chosen ones that are going to be in going into heaven. And I have the Holy Spirit so strong on me right now. <sighs> Lord God, speak through me to your people and get them to listen, Father God. You say that for I will give you a mouth of wisdom which all of your adversaries will not be able to contradict or resist he's going to pour his spirit out on us and be able to give us the words to be able to speak to these people that are putting us down those who are fulfilling the prophecies those who are the ones that are persecuting us and making us feel so little and make us feel so weak that we have no strength to hold on but we are going to finish this race together that is what the bride of Christ is doing. We are all connected. We pray for one another. We lift each other up. Okay? We are there for one another. I have been feeling the spirit. And he has really been pouring out. Because I know these are our last days. I know he's coming any moment. I feel it so strong. Matthew 10. 26. Well, 22. I'm going to read first, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but he endures till the end will be saved. And this is not talking about the tribulation. This is the end of the grace period until the his return, okay, before he steps out on that cloud and says, hey, Marianne, hey, Jeremy, hey, Olivia, hey, Priscilla, come on up here with me. Let's wine and dine together. Let's get you all prepared for the marriage supper of the Lamb. Oh, is that what you want to do? Yes, come, my faithful servants. And we will come with him. Okay. And verses 26. Therefore do not fear them. For there is nothing covered that will not be revealed. Do you understand that? And hidden that will not be known. So what they are doing. God is telling us right here flat out. That this stuff is going to happen. Okay. And it has to happen to fulfill prophecy. Okay. And whatever I tell you in the dark. Okay, which is like in prayer time, in the times, even in the, 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 the dark times that you're going through, the tribulation times, the tribulation, the tribulous periods, you know, the, 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 not be known what I reveal to you. Tell my people and I will give you the words to be able to speak. I will give you the understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. Do not be afraid. Let it out because I am coming soon. I am coming quickly. As lightning so shineth into the east and falls out to the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man. And it will be like a flash in a moment in the blink of an eye. We're gone. All right. And it says whatever... Uh, and what you hear in the ear, preach on the housetops, preach, don't be afraid, stand up, stand tall, yes, we're going to be persecuted, yes, we're going to be put down, yes, we're going to be mocked, yes, we're going to be scoffed, and yes, people will even make videos how we are false prophets and pro false witnesses, and that is okay, because they are the ones that have to own up to God one day, they are the ones that's going to be judged, because God knows our hearts, God knows our desires, okay, and and do not fear uh, for those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Uh, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Okay. Um, so wine and dine with him before it is too daggone late. All right. So now I know judgment is coming. And what's ironic, not ironic, but amazing. I'm going to read to you, and I printed this off um, from my Facebook. Okay, you can read, you know, Mary Hall, 2017, uh, June 23rd, 2017. I'm going to read to you this dream I had. I had a dream about tornadoes coming in. The sky was all dark. And I was playing the piano, 
and move into a new place that was so old and antique I could literally smell the smells. There was jewelry everywhere and a basement. I was trying to show the people that there was a big storm coming over the whole USA and I'm going to stop right there what's funny is today I, I go to the flea markets on uh, sometimes Saturdays but mainly Sundays and um, I usually witness to people when I'm out there today I didn't really it was all the same people they've all heard the same thing so I really didn't get a chance to witness today but what I did see um, is that there was um, a storm that was coming so we got this this morning you know we left at six to be there by seven so we had our spots because they're an hour behind us and it just started pouring and pouring lightning and stuff and I just felt like this weird feeling and then um we looked on our radar and it said around one we had a massive storm coming it was from Oklahoma City and I'm talking about it took up the whole dang thing it wasn't a little storm it was a big storm and then it brought me back to this dream and I was like oh my gosh right and people still weren't listening they still just sat there I'm sorry I'm not gonna sell in the rain so anyways the USA and I tried playing it on my phone but no one listened they kept unpacking same thing what they kept doing they ignored the warnings for some reason though this house was safe but yet every drawer dresser drawer was broken and yet they were being used okay that's like us we are broken we are we are um, being used in ways that we don't even know though they may break us they might bend us and break us we are still able to be used by God all right and I know this doesn't sound prophetic but I know it is because we have a huge huge storm huge storm coming and when it does the lost won't be able to withstand it how <laughs> how amazing is this okay judgment is coming to America I don't know any channel that has not been warning similar um things um that's coming because it america is getting ready to be hit we are doing the big no-nos we have committed the seven sins we are um we are not in good times with god right now so i'm going to read to you bits and pieces of these um uh, things but also there's this woman which is awesome because like I said I don't really have anybody to witness to and this woman she um, has bought out stuff she has a store she just private messaged me and I'm actually going to read to you part of our conversation so um, I'm going to look weird on the screen for a minute because I don't have a computer she says oops sorry um, this is what she said Um, okay, so I'm up and running in Rockville. I said, you're doing good. She said, accountant got my retail merchant certificate. And I said, hallelujah. Yes, we are doing good. Very good. Thank you. I am truly blessed. I said, God is so good. And she asked how I was doing. And you know, I gave her a quick run around and she said, oh my, you are in my prayers and you are so right. It's the devil at work. And I said, thank you. And she said, do you know that a preacher's daughter with whom I grew up doing, going to church, with their church came in my shop very loud and obnoxiously asked if I believed in God. My answer, of course, was yes. She then asked if I was attending church, to which I replied, no, not during the smooth transition. She essentially told me I wasn't going to heaven. I was blown away. And I said, she is so wrong on many levels. Um, then I sent her to my channel and I said, you will learn a lot and I'm going to do a, a quick video. And then she said, she stated that I wasn't getting into heaven on good deeds alone for I was required to worship in God's church. And I said, where two or more are gathered in his name, there he be in the midst. And the people are the church. We are fellowshipping right now. People are still living under the law and I do online ministry and that is my church. And I refuse to step foot in a church because they sugarcoat and they falsely preach. And she said, this is exactly what I expressed. And she walked out, leaving her best friend standing there with her mouth hanging open. This is the type of deception that I am talking about. Come out of the church, my people. That is what God has told me time and time and time again. Okay. Just because you go to church and fellowship with people does not mean you are hearing the word of God. You understand me? There are a lot of wolves in sheep's clothing. All right. And they, this wolf is actually going to be sitting here with the peace deal 
<coughs> Obama, um, Trump, um, lots of others. Want me to get, get a name? Okay. Point taken. They're going to be sitting there together making this deal try and happen. Okay. And then, boom, we leave and then it happens. So I'm going to read to you bits and pieces. And it says, Saudi officials says deal of the century leads to full Palestinian statehood. The official slam Palestinian leadership as irresponsible for not even considering the deal of the century, which will bring $60 billion to their people. Sounds like all they're looking for is money. And didn't they say that the love of money is the root to all evil? Okay. It's for the love of money. I didn't say money is the root. And it says history and Allah brought a real opportunity. A top ranking Saudi diplomat told Israelis VI an interview in Globes on Friday. The blood conflict had lasted too long. U.S. Saudis in all Gulf states plus Egypt and Jordan realized that the age of going to war with Israel is over. They are officially looking for peace. Pointing to the advantages of normalizing relations, he argued that the whole Arab world could benefit from it, Global said. The Saudi diplomat told Globes that the Israeli technology is very advanced and the Arab world, including those who hate you, looks at Israel in adm admiration due to the success and hopes to copy it. He further stated that, the, that despite the under, understanding among Saudi people that the age of war with Israel needs to end, the kingdom has deep commitment to the Palestinians may be hard for them to part with the character of the ever suffering victim and they don't believe they could survive without it he said noting that if they accept the American peace they will be given sums they never dreamed of and then it goes on and goes on and goes on I will have all the links to these okay there was one here's another one that was from today actually both of these were for today um, the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, pledged that Israel will listen fairly and openness to the U.S. peace proposals and bewailed that the Palestinians are not willing to do the same, noting that before they even heard the plan, they rejected it outright. So that's what upset him. They want to sit there and talk, okay? And this this is the, the, the um, uh, Thessalonians... Right here, for when they say peace and safety, then second, then sudden destruction shall come upon them as uh, a woman in labor as travail. I actually want to read you this because, oh my gosh, prophecy is getting fulfilled. Um, oh, First Thessalonians 5.3. Here it is. Netanyahu's comment on sen comments on Sunday came as he toured the Jordan, Jordan Valley with the U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton two days before the opening of the Peace to Prosperity Workshop in Bahrain, Bahrain, which the U.S. administration organized to gain backing for the economic component of their peace blueprint. Yadi, yadi, yada. There's money talking here. Golan Heights. You name it, and peace and security, peace and safety, peace and stability. We are here, folks. Prophecy. When that announcement comes, bam, judgment is coming. You guys do not understand. This is literally where we are at. Now, it says the PA president says there is no potential for a political solution with Trump. So they say. But the Palestinians are ready to return with the negotiating table with Israel, but with two preconditions. The recognition of Israeli occupation of Eastern Jerusalem and the vision of a two-state solution. Uh, Palestinian Authority Mohammed Abbas told foreign reporters in Ramallah on Sunday. This goes on and on and on as well. These are the three main um, agreements or articles that are fulfilling prophecy. Tuesday, when they go in for this meeting, I believe that the fulfillment will be done. And um, 40 days, within 40 days, I believe that the rapture could happen. Didn't say will, I said could. Um, because I believe that judgment is going to hit immediately as this stuff states in the Bible. But we will not be here for the tribulation to begin. So... 
we are here, folks. So be ready. Um, don't be listening to false preachers. Because um, not everyone who says that they are reading the word of God is preaching the true word of God. They have a lot of their own interpretations. That is why you need to study for yourself to find yourself approved. And all these articles and this and scripture and um, dreams and uh, words from the Lord, they are coming to pass. Okay, so please pray over this as always. Um, keep me in prayer as well. And uh, as always, I keep you in prayer and I lift each and every one of you up and I hope this blessed you. God bless.